What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve a new, uh, number theory problem that is fairly easy. So the question is simply saying find all natural numbers n. So in this case we exclude n uh, to be equal to zero such that n squared plus one is divisible by n plus one. In other words, we want to see if there is any uh, positive integers n that will satisfy n squared plus one is a multiple of n plus one. Before we start proving this or finding out the solutions, uh, we can pause the video and try it yourself. Are you ready for it? Here we go. So the concept of here is we're going to use the divisibility as well as trying to use the basic concept of uh, dividing uh, and finding out the remainder such as what we learned a division in elementary school that when we are thinking of some numbers is divisible by another number we are actually assuming that this divide by this will be a whole number and if we want to think it as a fraction as a mixed number the numerator part will be equal to zero in other words we want to uh, get the remainder equal to zero so how can we do it? In this case, we're going to try to divide it, or we can just think it as rewriting the expression into some, uh, some form of uh, multiplication and addition. So we want to set this function or this expression here uh, to be equal to some uh, function p of n or in this case it will be a polynomial times the quotient which is n plus 1 and then plus the remainder which in this case it will be another polynomial uh, where of course the degree of this polynomial has to be strictly less than the divider in other words um, this polynomial has to be just a constant or maybe even zero and of course our goal is to try to set this equal to zero then how do we do it well in this case we can just uh, do the long division and we will, again if there is a no uh, there's no term here or missing the uh, some term we can just put a plus zero times the term and to fill out uh, the gap and then we're going to take uh, quickly do the division to get if we um, multiply this with n we will get n squared plus 1n so that the first term or the uh, largest term will be able to cancel out and then if we subtract it we'll get this and in this case in order to cancel out the negative n we have to multiply with negative 1 to get the remainder to be 2. So after the long division, we have r of n is equal to 2 as the remainder. But because we want to uh, we want to set this equal to 0. In other words, if we try to rewrite this expression as a fraction, we will get n squared plus 1 over n plus 1 is equal to the Mm, the quotient n minus 1 plus the uh, remainder which is 2 over the divisor that we have and again we already know that n is a whole number uh, positive integer so n minus 1 here will still be an integer now in order to have the whole results to be an integer, we need the fraction to be an integer as well. Therefore, if we try to make this as an integer, we need 2 is a multiple of n plus 1. So what is the only option that we have? We only have n plus 1 is equal to 1 or 2. Of course, we can also include negative one and negative two in this case. 
uh, as uh, uh, as our possible answers, such that the whole fraction will turn out to be an uh, to be an integer. Now, if we try to solve for n from here, we get uh, n is either zero, one, and negative two, and negative three. But since the question is asking the positive integers, what is the only option that we have? The only option that we have will now be n equals one. And that's it.